All right. I think we're live again. So listen, we're live. My name's Mike. This is the Delicious Goodness, and here we go again. My hair's all crazy. Listen, this is what happened. Super busy day. Didn't think I was going to be able to live stream. But I was like, you know what? I got a little bit of time. I can do this before I go to sleep sleeps now. So let's live stream for a little bit. This is just an impromptu thing. I just ran up here, did it, did it, bam, bam, wham, bam. Thank you. Bam, bam. Okay. So I want to build a house because that was suggested before. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to build a house. So let's start just, let's just gather some stuff real quick while we're here. And you know what I noticed from last, um, <laughs> last time I go, I went through and rewatched just a little bit of the video and it turns out that our friend over here, his name was Spencer at one point and then it was William. So let's go see what his name. Dude, your house, his house is literally sinking. It's sunken. He has no house. What kind of, is this quicksand grass? This is quicksand grass. His house is sinking. Is it the log's fault? I don't know. I'll clear the log out just to make sure. Oh my gosh. Okay, but. Now his name is James. This dude's literally had three names. Spencer, William, James. What's your name gonna be tomorrow, my guy? What's your name gonna be tomorrow? All right, let's uh, sell. Just go ahead and sell. I, I mean, we don't need this stuff. Oh, well, I'll, I'll keep that. I'll keep that because we, we, well, we might need it. Okay, we'll sell the stick. Sell the sail. We don't even need that sail anymore. We can craft another sail, can we? I don't care. We don't, we don't need it. To tree branch, that seed grains, that rubber grain. That should be good. Sell all that. Good. Talk. All right, James. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to build a house. So I want to experiment with building one of those houses that's on the stilts. And we're going to build it right here. Okay? We're going to build it right here. Whoa. My boats are drifting away from the dock. They're pretty much on land. My boats are getting beached. Oh my gosh. You guys are getting beached. That one's fine. Okay. This might be a problem. They've been beached. My boats have been beached. I can probably get that, get that one out on high tide, so I'm not worried about that, but... Oh, right. I came over... Okay. Yeah, this is an impromptu thing, and I'm super, yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Okay, here, blah, blah, blah. Isn't that so cool looking? I just love this. All right, let's focus up. Let's focus up now. So we need to build some stilts, some flooring, and some walls, and then we'll worry about the roofs at a later point. The roofs are kind of a pain in the butt to make because they require so many seagrass and tree branches. Tree branches are easy to get. Seagrass is hard to get. It takes some doing. And I still don't know how to plant it. We don't know. We don't know how to plant the seagrass. And it could be a problem. Alright. So let's... Oh yeah, see? Let's do one. And two. And three. And four. And five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirty-four. Fifty. Seven. Eight. Okay. Thirteen. We'll start with that. Uh, how does it work? Well, you're asking the wrong guy. I don't know. Okay, what we're going to do, I think the strategy is, let's build one right there. You see, if you build it up the hill, it'll be at the same. So, okay, so we built one. Okay, so now what we need to do is build a floor. And I think we can just expand the floors where we want and then you continue to build the support beams underneath them so that they match the correct height that you want. I think that's how it works. We're going to find out. Okay, how do you even build a floor? What's a floor? 
Nails, pine logs. Well, I can do that. I can do that for sure. Do I have nails? I have 16, so I could do better. How many iron things do I got? Let's see. Ooh, 32. That'll, that'll work. That'll do, that'll do good. That'll do very good. Mm-hmm. Okay, put all these plants away. We don't need to carry the plants. We can eat that. I might let myself die. I'm not too worried about eating right now. I just want to make a house because I, I want to make a home on our island. And I hope all got a drink. Welcome. Okay. So, um, nails. Yes. We need wood logs. I think I have some in the crate. Let's let's check. Let's check. Oh yes, I do have some in the, in there. Mm. Don't be weird. Don't be. Okay. I gotta be quiet because. I've got, there's family in town and they're sleeping and it's like, oh my gosh, everybody's asleep. So, let's see if we can build, wait, how do you build? Let's go over here, nails. Nails, nails, nails in my butt. What? No. Does anybody know about the skills needed to lie on a bed of nails? Actually, it's very little skill required because when you lay on a bed of nails, Fun fact, your weight is equally distributed across each nail, so it won't stab you through your skin, probably. I don't know. I haven't tested it, but I could be totally right. In fact, how does this work? Let's do that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go like this. I'm trying to get, wait. Can it? Can it work? I had it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. That works. That works. Okay, I guess it's going to be cross-hatched because that's the way it's doing it. Okay, we're going to do this. Since they float, that's good. Can it be cross-hatched? Because the rest are cross-hatched. Because I'm going to be real anal about this now. Okay, that was it right there. I did it, but... Oh, there we go. Perfect. We're going cross-hatched today, son. We're going cross-hatched. Okay. I'm just trying to trying to line this. Oh, perfect. Perfection. I had it. There we go. All right, now we'll build out this way. Actually, we'll build out this way cuz I want to be closer to the ocean there. Wait, wait. There it is. Yeah, sorry y'all. Like, I did not plan on live streaming, so I just ran up here, made a thumbnail, and went to town. Because I didn't think I would have the chance, but... Okay. Come on, baby. That was it. I saw it. There it is. So it takes some running and doing, but... We don't even really need these, but it makes it look like it makes sense. <laughs> And now that's floating, so it's kind of whatever. We'll make it look legit. We've got plenty of these. There we go. And they don't cost nothing. There we go. Now it looks like it actually has physics. Okay, trees. The trees are freaking me out. The trees. The trees are coming. The blue crystal trees, they love to follow you, don't they? They follow you, and they're like, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, I don't want, I'm not buying. You know how you get those door-to-door -door salesmen? It's like, I don't want what you're selling. I don't want what you're selling. Not today, not ever. All right, let's grab some of these. Oh, look at, look at how many swipes can we get here. Let's see. 
Can we get good swipes? Oh, we're getting the good swipes! Um, I love the good swipes. Oh, yeah. Well. I'll tell you what. I will be scheduling my thumbnail tomorrow. That way you guys know in advance because I <laughs> nobody knows I'm live streaming right now. So that's kind of funny. But it's kind of cool because it's like it's like a secret. It's a secret. Alright. But okay. Um ooh. Ooh. I need to build this out even more because I need some more flooring. So let's make some more nails. Wait, wrong one. There we go. Nails, nails, nails in my nails. That's that's fine. We'll have to run out and buy some more iron at some point. But that's no big deal. As long as my boats... Okay, let me move my boat. Because it's freaking me out. Base building today. What's up, Soul Stealer? Look at my boat. It's stuck in the hole. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining. Sorry I didn't schedule this with like a thumbnail. I didn't think it, uh, I was going to be able to live stream today, but I had some time. And so I was like, "Ooh, run up there and do it. Just do it. So I just ran up here, made a thumbnail real quick and started streaming. So thanks for joining, man. Okay. Do you know the question I'm going to ask? What'd you have for din dins? What'd you have for din dins? My dinner tonight was very, very... What's the right word? Not bad. Not bad. But very plain. I guess you could say plain. Plain and simple. Let's put it that way. Not in like a bad way. Boat fail. It is. It's a fail boat. The boat is like, I'm not... I'm going in that hole and that's where I'm staying. Okay. Oh, the tide's the tide just went out. I'm glad I moved my other boat for sure. <laughs> well, at least I know that boat won't go anywhere. Piggy! <sighs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Does whatever a spider can. Okay. I still haven't seen that. I need to see that new Spider-Man so bad. I want to see it. Okay. Let's build some floors. We got... Wait. Oh, we got some. Let's expand this. I was worried about cross-hatching the floors, but it's like, whatever. Just do it. If it fits, it fits. Okay. So, oh, you're... He's... We're hungry, y'all. He's hungry. He decided to be hungry. Oh, am I out of floors now? I'm out of floors now. Chicken patties? <gasps> Ooh, chicken like a like a like a sandwich? Or was it just the patty themselves? Fried? I think you fry chicken patties, right? I don't know. I can't remember. Okay, let's build a stair. Two of them. And floor, floor. Ooh, homesteading up. I think we unlocked an attribute point. Oh man, look at my. My health is down. My thirst and my hunger is down. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is not a day of adventuring. This is a day of building ourselves. A wonderful house to live on. Ah, yeah. That's a pretty good platform. I'm going to build it out even more. Simply because I want to have a wraparound balcony. So what does this get me? Let's see. Put the stairs over here. Yeah, sandwich, and you can fry them. I usually buy them frozen. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen those. I think I've seen those before. I had, uh, I had ramen. I just had a, a package of ramen. I wasn't feeling, like, super hungry today. Usually I'm like feasting, but today I'm like, I need something quick, 
So ramen it was. It was the soy sauce flavor, which I haven't had before. Lose a Fernie. What up, Luzi? Is it okay if I say Luzi? I don't know. You'll have to tell me. But Luzi Fernie's here all the way from, um, wait a minute, don't tell me. Austria. That's what it is. Did I get it right? I think I got it right. All right, so we can have a 9x9 nine nine house uh, with a wraparound balcony. And what I want to do is put, like, cannons around the outside, the four corners. But I want it to be more grand than that even. How are you, Luzifern? What'd you eat for dinner? Did you eat? I hope you ate. Everybody needs to eat. Luzi's fine? Okay, Luzi's fine. I like that name, actually. Luzi! I like it. Pick up the log. Can you log? There we go. I did get it right? Oh, good. Austria. Soul Stealer, uh, you, let me see. You're from, wait a minute. Is it, wait. I want to say Ohio. I could be totally wrong, but for some reason, Ohio's in my brain. Or is it Texas? I can't, it's one of those two, right? That's probably not. All right, hang on. We're almost dead, but that's okay. I'm going to let myself die. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. Four toasts? Just four toasted breads? Is it Ohio? Did I get it right? I can't. All right. Mm. Okay, you know what? Okay. I'm going to chop those down, and I'm going to build a staircase here going up to an even bigger, another platform of this size. That way we've got a pretty, pretty good looking place. It would be like Swiss Family Robinson. Oh, it is Ohio. Okay. I was right. I didn't know that for sure. It was like a subconscious thing. You know You know what I mean? It was like, I saw your name and I was like, in my, in the back of my dark brain. I don't even know what that means. But it was just saying, Ohio. Ohio. Okay, we're about to be dead. So we're going to reset. Save the game. Done. Ah, perfect timing. Oh my god, my hair is so bad. Oh god, it's so bad. It's all... Okay, there we go. Get it out of my neck. Take all this. Alright, now we're full. I always feel like I'm... Like I'm cheating when I just let myself die just to get full food and drink and health. But hey, if they don't want me to do it, add more of a penalty because I get all my stuff back, right? Yeah. Generally, I try not to do that, but I'm on a mission today. We're building. This is basically like I put the game into building mode and I just want to build my house. Did you see that they updated today? No, 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 I didn't. There was no update on my game. Maybe it auto updated. Do you know do you know if they added anything? None of okay, this all still has unobtainium, so they didn't update that. Um Okay. Let me check it, all the crafting menus just to see. Okay. They added custom keybinds, but I'm playing on PC, so I'm more than happy. See, you're so okay. So, I I've never messed with like keybinds. I just use a controller. I've always been I've always been my whole life I've been a console guy because I've never had my family's never had a PC powerful enough to play like good games. I mean, like, when I was a kid, we had, like, uh, 
an old computer that had Windows 3.1. Oh my gosh. And I would play games like Math Blaster that came on like floppy disks. And the first Civilization game. Oh my gosh, it came on like six floppy disks. It was so stupid. But like I would go through my parents like drawers of disks to find the games that they once had. Cannons of Ballistic can be hammered away. Oh, they can? Good call, good call. Usually I, I see when the game is updated, but it didn't offer me uh, an update. I wonder if it, yeah, I had to have done it automatically then. Okay. We got one set of stairs here. We'll put another set right here in the middle. Just like that. And this will lead to another uh, platform. But I'm going to build out this house real quick. So we need walls now. So, wait, okay, hang on. Where are the smoke plumes? Where is the plume in smoke? I want to go find the pirate settlement and see if I can hammer. We need a demolition hammer first. Okay, let's go organize real quick. Let's organize. That's not, I'm, that's the opposite of what I want to do. There we go. <laughs> Put all these away. We have so much tree sap. We have like over 199 tree sap. That's a little bit ridiculous. We don't, probably don't need that much ever, but. Uh, I need to put this graystone away, for sure. Put that, put the iron away, sure. Got some pig poop on me. It's always nice when you look in your pockets and that you have poop in your pockets, right? I mean, everybody would like to have poop in their pockets at any given moment. You're just like, here, I made this for you. <laughs> I learned on an even older, like, Atari and Commodore. See... I, I, well, my dad had an Atari. And so I was lucky enough to be able to experience th those kind of old games because I'm, I grew up on um, Super Nintendo and the N64. So Atari was before my time, but luckily my dad had one and a bunch of games. So me and my friends would just jam out on the Atari and it was so much fun. We had a game called um, Food Fight. Do y'all remember Food Fight on Atari? I can't remember the number on the Atari. I think it was like the later Atari number. I can't remember all the numbers, but there was a game called Food Fight and you're li literally this kid and every level you're throwing food into the chef's faces trying to reach the ice cream on the other side of the room. And there was 250 levels and me and my friend got to every level and it went up to 250. But the, the last level, the 250th level, if you beat it, it would just repeat nonstop. So you could never actually beat the game. And <laughs> we were like, what? This is bull crap. But we, we lo I loved that game. Food Fight was awesome. It's one of those ones that you never hear about. You always hear about like asteroids and like pole position and stuff like that. Ooh, let's see the variants again. I like the windowed walls, personally. So we'll put a door over here. We'll probably just leave it open real quick. We'll just leave it. Eh. Alright, leave that there. That's fine. Okay. So we'll put a door here and a door here. I probably don't need two doors, but I want easy access. I want easy access. Okay. It's coming along. I'm going to build it. Yeah, I'm going to build another platform up here. How are we doing on logs? Let's just cut these down. We have some in storage, but this way we can clean up at the same time as get more material. So it, it works out for everybody. It works out. Did you guys have a good day? Did you guys have a, a good one? I hope so. It's 
time for us all to relax and I've got a I've got a a beverage yummy it is a hard seltzer you know the funny thing is people love to make fun of the hard seltzers but I'm like they're delicious they keep me hydrated and they make me feel good all at the same time and that's good for me because I don't drink a lot of water during the day which my doctor says you need to drink more water if I saw a doctor he would probably say that drink more water sometimes I barely drink any so it's good to have a little bit of water in there. <laughs> but I like I like every kind of alcohol there is. I don't discriminate. People have such strong opinions and I'm like, I just drink everything. Every single thing. It doesn't matter. All right. Uh, we've got a decent amount. Let's chop these two and we'll be good. Long day at work, Soul Stealer? Oh, that sucks. Well, hopefully you're done and you can relax and you ate your chicken patties so you're feeling good, I hope. What's your go-to condiments on your chicken patties? Is it, do you do like the ketchup mustard combo with like mayonnaise? Sometimes I make this sauce. Um, it's a simple sauce, and I'm sure a lot of people make it, but it's ketchup, sriracha, and mayonnaise mixed together, and it's like, oh my gosh. I could eat it by the spoonful. I'm not going to because that sounds gross, but it's it's there. I dip like stuff in it, and I like to put it on burgers and sandwiches and chickens. So good. I played the first iterations of X-Wing on Atari. It wasn't even 8-bit, but wireframe. Woo! Yeah. It was wireframe. I remember Asteroids, I think, was wireframe on Atari for me. Uh, okay. All right. Let's build one more wall and then check. Okay, these trees need to die. They're encroaching. They're encroaching on my house. Spicy Japanese mayo with Colby Jack cheese. Uh, okay. I'm gonna look for spicy Japanese mayo tomorrow when I'm at the store. I've never even heard of that. You guys open my eyes to the goods. That's why, I, yeah. You guys open my eyes to those delicious goodnesses. <laughs> it, oh, that sounds good. See, I make my mayo spicy by adding sriracha, so you do the good. Just like asteroids? Okay. Good. My dad never had, um, what was it? X-Wing? Yeah. Didn't have that one. He had Ataris and, like, Missile Command and stuff like that. All right, let's, let's uh, put away some stuff real quick, and then we'll build more build some walls. We'll, we'll build enough walls as we have seagrass. And then we'll build, start building this other platform. I don't have to build these pillars, but it makes it look like it makes sense instead of just floating. <laughs> I don't care either way, but it, it just makes it look a little bit better. All right, let's build a, okay, wooden door is, uh, oh, right metal hinges okay so I'll make two doors real quick I'll make two doors let's put away some more sap oh my gosh we got sap coming out of our ears um okay we'll put the uh, crystals here uh, ooh we got a lot of treasure maps. I forgot about that. I should probably find the treasure. But the last time I looked for the treasure, it gave us, like, nothing. At least from the common maps. Okay. Well. I got mine from Jungle Gyms, if you know what that... What is Jungle Gyms? I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that before in my life. Jungle Gyms. I'll look that up as soon as I'm done. 
jungle gyms. Is that a store? If that's a store, that's the only place I'd shop. It's like... Pfft. It's like, move aside, Trader Joe's. I don't even go to Trader Joe's. I just know that everybody loves Trader Joe's for some reason. I've been to Trader Joe's like once. And I was like, okay, it's a place where you have things. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> but then again, who am I to say? I like everything usually, so it's, it's fine. But Jungle Gyms just sounds better than Trader Joe's. <laughs> All right, let's put a door there. And I'll put a door there. Look at that. It's kind of... I mean, we probably don't even need this door, but... This way, it's kind of nice. There's a cross breeze this way. There was already a cross breeze from the windows. But you know what? Don't argue with my logic. I'm not really even thinking straight. Cheers. That one's almost gone, but don't worry. I got another one. Get some more logs. So what is these? What is these? Uh, this is um, uh, five. Wait, am I counting right? Yeah. Five by five. So we got a five by five. So we need 25 flooring for the next platform up. And we need one wall. So I'll build the wall first. And then we'll build one, two, three, four. All right, that's a start. 13 floors. It's a worldwide grocery store. Just, it's just, it's like Trader Joe's. I think they have everything. Okay, interesting. I was gonna say, it sounds like a place like Trader Joe's. Again, I've only been to a Trader Joe's once. I remember I lived in um, in Denver, Colorado for a while, and a new Trader Joe's opened up in like the southern part of Denver, and the line was like around the block, like two streets down, and I'm like, why? What is so good about it? I don't get it. I just don't know. I have no idea why. We're gonna have to chop that tree down there, huh? I've stopped. I've stopped trying to make the the flooring match. I'm just gonna put it down as it appears. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's a good start. That's a good start. So we're actually gonna need to go. We're gonna have to take a trip. To the grocery store ourselves which is village island in this game and buy some more iron because we're fresh out which means no more nails which means no more floors so what we can do oh well, we got a meal right here let's get those out let's cook them up let's cook them up since we're getting to that point there we go these take a minute to cook, I think. And then we'll use our attribute points, and then we'll head to Village Island, buy some iron, and we'll be good to go. And I actually want to buy some, um... Well, probably not. Well, whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Ooh! We need to go talk to that hermit guy that gave us the arrows on that island, because he might give us more, and another blueprint, because <laughs> it's, like, it's messed up. So he might give us, like, extra arrows for free. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, Sliverant's in here. Welcome, Sliverant. Greetings and salutation, Mr. Flip Fliliquits Master. Was that you? I remember that comment. Was that you that commented that that one time? I totally remember that. That's hilarious. I said, I did. I was like, my name's Flick Fliliquits because sometimes I say random crap. But welcome, Sliverant. <laughs> I just like to be goofy. I like it. It's fun. 
I don't like to be like drill. What's the word? Dr like like uh, monotone. I, I don't want to be a person that's like, okay, we're going to go up here. Let's um let's build this floor. What do we need? Oh, we got to get more iron. Let's go over. I'm not going to do that. I can't. It hurts my head. It, my boat's running away. Okay. We need to get some more money. <laughs> I need to focus. We need to get some more money. Then we're going to sail to the island. Then we're going to get some stuff. And we're going to come on back. There we go. We'll make money out of this. And that'll be plenty to just stock up on iron. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, ooh. So... One of the purposes of putting your house on stilts is you can put your house above a farm. So you can build a bunch of dirt paths surrounded by redstone and then put a water pump going right into it. If we get to that point in this, um, in this part, we will do that, but I don't know if we'll get that far. Uh, okay. Looking good, looking good. I'm keeping these two yellow crystal stabs on me because we're gonna need more seagrass. And it's always nice to have a couple on you. That way you don't have to worry about the tide so much. Pick up that stick. All right, go ahead and eat. Let's see how much four of those fill my hunger gauge. It was about quarter of the way full, now it's three quarters. So that filled it up almost halfway. Four of those halfway. That just feels like it's not enough. This dude's name is James now. Two, video go two videos ago, it was Spencer. Then last video, it was William. <laughs> now it's James. Dude changes his name a lot. I would too if I lived on an island. I'd introduce myself as somebody different every time I met somebody. I guess. To James here... I am Mike, but to the people on Village Island, I'm Flip Philoquits. I love the way that this boat looks. Look at it. <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. Okay. Might as well grab that. We'll just sell it. Why not? It's just laying there. Just sell it. Come back, boat. How dare you leave me? Oh, God. Don't sail into the, the hole I made. Look how deep it is. It's so deep. That's crazy. All right, let's roll. Got plenty of fuel to get there. I think it's this way. Pretty sure. Yeah, straight this way. Well, not that way, this way. Yep. He will be Bob tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. I hope he's a different name tomorrow, because that's that's awesome. <sighs> so refreshing. I feel refreshed, but not refreshed enough. Mmm. Okay. Still waiting for that next Titan update, y'all. If we get that next Titan update, we're, we're going hunting. We're going hunting, no doubt. Can I buy cannonballs? I can't remember if I can buy cannonballs. I don't think you can, but... There it is. There's the place. There's the place. Oh, you know what we're going to do? Well, that boat's awfully close to that. Hmm. I'm going to stop off on one of these islands and get all that seagrass. That boat's a little too close for comfort. I don't need it bombing my boat. That or Farmer Joe. <laughs> Farmer Joe. I like that. Or I could just be playing John. I like the name John because when you throw a little, like, northeastern accent on it, it's like, hey, Jan. It's almost like you're saying a cross between Jan and John. 
Hey, Jan. Hey, Jan. Get over here, Jan. I gotta talk to you. <laughs> I gotta talk to you, Jan. Come over here. Okay, not much seagrass poking out of this one. That other one had way more. I didn't even think about... Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll use one. Why not? Wow, the, the tide went up there. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's hop out. I know this is shark territory, but I'm not too worried. I'm not going to use my staffs because I have no way of picking them back up. They're not like torches, unfortunately. You can't just, like, pick them right back up. Oh, it doesn't work here. It doesn't work. Because it's the deep ocean. Ah, uh, okay. Those little crystals don't even work here. Interesting. Hopefully a shark doesn't, like, eat me while I'm sitting right here. But this is a great place to get some seagrass. So I'm just going to go ahead and gather it all. Because we're going to need seagrass for roofing and for the walls for the next platform. So I might as well get it while I'm here. I totally forgot about these little small islands having seagrass all over them. Ooh, there's a clearing. Oh, look at that. That's a great hit. Can we gather this back then? Nope, it's gone. Did I get it back? Maybe I got some shards back from it. It's hard to tell when I've got so many on me already. Oh, look at that. That was a good hit. So I was going to download that game um, Icarus, which is another, it's another like survival, open world survival type game where you got to worry about eating and the elements of nature and everything like that. But the reviews were pretty mixed and it seemed like the gameplay was pretty bogged down by the amount of stuff you had to deal with. Where this game, I feel like, is very balanced. Like, you don't have to eat that much to be able to play the game for a while. You know what I mean? Which I like. I like that it's there. That it's like, oh yeah, you actually have to eat to stay alive. Duh. But it's not like, oh, okay. I need to go spend a half an hour getting all my stuff together to stay alive. You know what I mean? Because if it affects your overall gameplay, then I don't really want to... It's just... Yeah. So the reviews were, were pretty mixed. That doesn't mean that the game's not good to me. It's just that it prevents me from wanting to download it straight away since it's in uh, very early access still. They may improve it, but it looked cool. It looked way more intense and scary. So I may check it out. I don't know. I know a couple of you mentioned it. Not you guys specifically, but... Because I, I do like this type of genre. I think it's fun. I've been having a great time with Grounded. Grounded is a game that I play with a friend of mine that lives in Europe. He's like, I worked with him in the States for a while, and then he moved back to Europe. And so now the only time that we talk is like, we game online together and we catch up, which I think is awesome. That's one of the best things about gaming online. It's like, I can game with some of my old friends that I have no way of going to see in person anymore <laughs> without spending a lot of money and getting on an airplane. One of the best things about the internet. You watch a guy play uh, Icarus? Soul Stealer? It looks pretty decent. It, it does. That the the one the one resounding thing about the game Icarus is that it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. But I read a few of the reviews, and I'm not saying that the reviews are accurate. Obviously, I haven't played it, so I can't say what's true and what's not true. But they, you know, they weren't harsh. You know, they were like, you know, generally I go for this genre, but I had to spend so much time just working out how to stay alive that I never really got to play the game that much and explore. 
which is a bummer. But I feel, yeah, I don't know. It's tough to say. Cause it's like, how much do you actually believe reviews? I don't know. I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's one of those things. He plays it off and on. Okay. It was definitely one that intrigued me right off the bat. Okay. He wants fish. What do you have? Shop? You have those things. All right. Well, let me sell some stuff to you then. You can have that. You can have this sap. You can have that stick. You want to buy that stick? <laughs> See, games like this and games like Animal Crossing where you can just sell junk and make a living. Why can't that be real? Why can't I go on the beach, gather up all this random crap, go to a shop and say, you want to buy? And they buy it. Why can't that be real? <laughs> okay. I don't have any bottles left. Okay, might as well buy some bottles. 10 bottles, sure. What do you have? Okay, don't need any of that right now. I could buy Bone to complete the mission over here, but I'm not too worried about it. I have a feeling he's not going to give me much that's worthwhile. I could be wrong. There, there. This is my guy. This is who I wanted to talk to. Buy out all of his iron as much as we can. There we go. Sure. And there we go. Nails, too. So we got 24 iron. That means we can get quite a bit of nails. So we should be able to craft quite a bit of flooring. Which is perfect. It's more seat. Oh, that's fire grass? I don't want fire grass. Don't know what to do with it. You need seeds to plant the stuff. All right, grab this since it's right here if I can. We'll sail on back and continue building. I'm gonna make a pretty legit base. It's not going to be as vast as this, but actually this gives me some good inspiration. How did they make that? Can can I make these crosshatch things? I don't need to. It's more of a more of an aesthetic thing it, uh, rather than a necessity, but it makes it look nice. Oh, I see. Okay. So the half wall variation, they're using it as like partitions. That's that's clever. I wouldn't even have thought of that. Ooh. See, I didn't even think of this. They just leave gaps in their walls and build the roof anyway, and it makes it look more official. I like that. See, they're giving me ideas. They're giving me a lot of good ideas just by being here. Look how that one is. You got this kind of rounded place, a half partition here, half partition there. You got a, oh, see? <laughs> I always think I'm creative until I see stuff like this and I'm like, wow, I suck. <laughs> I'm not creative at all at building stuff. Let's uh, travel up here. Are they even utilizing the insides of this four wall structure here? I don't think so. Yeah, no. They're just using it as a, a pillar. It's very cool. Very cool. There's some fire flowers down there. Let's get them. Jump! Ooh. Oh, no fall damage still. Nice. Give me it. Did I get the seed? Yeah, I did get the seed. Give me the flowers. Chicken! Hey, we're... Whoa, rat, too. Hey, chicken, why don't you kill the rat? Or are you guys on some kind of animal affinity team together where you're like, well, I'm not going to hurt him. He's, a, he's an animal. But technically, humans are part of the animal kingdom. It's not my fault we develop good brains. I mean... I don't see that other flower. Maybe I grabbed it. Ooga! Okay, I got two flowers, so that's fine. You got any blue crystals, bud, or are you just kind of a, a butt munch? 
You're tiny. You're a... You're a tiny little guy. Nope, nothing. All right, let's uh, step over here so we don't get attacked by a chicken. What did I just do? Pick that up. Go over here. Go over here. Go, go, go. Here we go. So let's do... Um, I have three points available. Okay, endurance, agility, constitution. Let's start doing constitution, get some more um, heart health bars. That's always good. Although it seems like in this game, the main thing you would need is a strong boat. Because most of your battling takes place on the boat. Unless there's going to be islands coming up that have some crazy enemies. I mean, I guess we... Oh, right. We got to stop and talk to this guy. I mean, we do have some crazy enemies on the island we're on. Um, where we're building the base. Like the giant golem. You can't really take him, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Unless you have a much better weapon than I've got. But you can destroy him with a cannon. What do you want? Yeah. Okay, every time we log on, he gives us 10 arrows. I'm going to test these arrows out on the big guy on the other island. Because now we have 30. Now we have 30 that he gave us. He gave us 10 every time. So tomorrow when I log on... Oh, no, what did I just do? Oh, can you motorboat out of here? Can you? Come on. There we go. Okay, okay. Be strategic. Be strategic. The tide's going out. Is it? I don't know. Just go. Just go. Go, 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 go. I don't want to be trapped. There's some fish. Hey, fishy. All right. Yeah, I do want to make a farm for, like, food and stuff. But. But. If I, if I wanted to farm one thing, it would be seagrass. Because seagrass is like, you need it for so much stuff. Can I, can I zoom? Can I zoom? I can't zoom. Okay. I don't even know where I'm going. Move map R. No. It won't let me move the map. Okay. Just have to guess and... Oh, there's home. Okay, home is over there. <laughs> Let's roll. You know what I'm craving? A grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, my God. A grilled cheese sandwich. I got one of those stoves that has, like, that built-in... Instead of being all... It's a gas stove. But instead of being one of those, like, just a grate... The middle of it is one of those like flat tops, non-stick flat tops. So I just throw whatever on that thing. I'm like, oh, you're frying eggs, throw it on that flat top. You're making a grilled cheese, throw it on the flat top. You're grilling shrimp, throw it on the flat top. It's so nice because you don't have to depend. I have a big like non-stick frying pan, but it's nice not to even have to get that out. You just heat that up and you you're good it doesn't have walls so you can't like put like sauce or like rice on it or anything but like big chunks of meat you can do you can do that you can do that no real seagrass on that one either how much did we get Oh, we got a pretty good amount. Yeah, we got a pretty decent amount of seagrass here. 25, that's 100 at least, plus 50, plus 7 is... Uh, I don't know math. I was, I was the one who commented that. Had to go to clean some stuff up in real life, lol. Okay. Well, thanks for being here, Sliverant. 
again, I I feel bad because I couldn't I couldn't like schedule this. I couldn't like post a thumbnail at like lunchtime so that people could see it and be like, "Oh, he's going to live stream later." You know what I mean? I just came in here and started it. <laughs> so, I really appreciate you guys for looking out and joining. I always have fun with the people in the chat. I love chatting. What a quiet night. Yeah. But I think it's important to build a home base because as the game gets updated and everything, we're going to have more and more adventures. So... We're going to have like a, a fortress. Going to have cannons out on the balconies. Nobody's getting in. Nobody's getting in. Nobody's getting near us. One thing I do want to do is go build a cannon by... Oh god, the fuel is not looking good. I think we'll make it back, but... Woo, got to watch out for that. We're going to have to refuel the boat before we go back out. Shouldn't be a problem. We got money coming out of everywhere after killing Delbert. You know, Delbert went down like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> he was hard though, hard to kill. What is that? Whatever that is is almost dead. I don't even know what it's pointing at. Every time we enter this space, that happens. Yo, you want to go? I don't even have a cannon. You can't even shoot me. Oh my gosh, he just missed. Okay, just go. <laughs> just go. Okay. Uh, I literally can't zoom into the map anymore. Okay, where am I even? Where's the cage? It's over there. Okay, well, my, my dock is over that way then. The map's acting funny right now. Do y'all know of any other good, like, survival games like this? It doesn't have to be, like, ocean stuff. Just like any, like, Grounded is one. Where you gotta worry about your hunger and your thirst and exploring everything. I've been really enjoying Grounded. Those new updates to Grounded were fun. I think that was a warning shot since it went across your bow. Could have, I mean, they're just like, get away from me. Get away. I thought it would be cool to, like, in real life, like, buy a decent size, like, a boat, whatever, and just live on it. And you live at whatever dock your boat is at. You know what I mean? You see that sometimes in, like, movies and stuff. I don't know. I've always thought it would be cool to live on something that's not traditional. Like, nope, I don't live in a house. I live on, I live in the water. In a boat. How did the boat... Wait a minute. The boat is drifting past the hole. It drifted out of the hole. I don't understand. It's still... Look at the anchor rope is still there, but it just drifts. <laughs> okay, I'm going to face the... Whoa, whoa. Don't get in the hole. Don't get in the hole. I'm going to face it this way. Because last time I faced it this way, it floated towards the shore instead of away from it. Which I feel like is better. I can't take the boat out anytime soon anyways because it's short on fuel. But we can easily get fuel. We've got a whole bunch of crystals. All right, let's go back. Let's continue our base build. Now we have water too. Yeah, look at that. Did you notice this dude's house? Look at him. Seven Ways to Die is a good one if you like zombies. I do. It depends on how scary it is. It's sunk even more. This is the top of this dude's house. His little lean-to thing. That's it. I'm standing on it. It is sinking. Uh, you've, you've came into some bad luck there. His name's David now. 
His name's David now. What? What was it? It changed. <laughs> okay, there's some logs freaking out. <laughs> oh, this game is so much fun. <laughs> you never know what to expect. Oh my gosh, I can't smack it. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. All right. <laughs> How many floors do we need? We got 13, so that means we need 12. We need 12 more floors. We're, oh, oh. We're going to have a 25 by 25. Uh. Oh, right. I need to make nails. But let's put some stuff up real quick. Don't need all this stuff on me. Put the fire grass away. I don't even know why I have that. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's build some nails. Nails, nails, nails. A lot of people compare it to like adult Minecraft. Oh, okay. Adult Minecraft. Oh my gosh. Speaking of Minecraft, I saw somewhere online that somebody made a game inside Minecraft by like building a computer using the Minecraft blocks and then they built a big screen and they I think they built like a simple snake game in Minecraft. I was like, I don't even understand how that's possible. That's crazy to me. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. There we go. Adult Minecraft, interesting. I know Valheim was like a thing that came and went so quick. Like everybody played Valheim for a month and then it was gone. <laughs> it's like they couldn't even finish their sentence. It's like, this game's awesome. We're done. Oh, I need logs. I'm like, why, why? Floor, 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 floor. 12. There we go. That's enough for our purposes for now until we expand. I need to chop this tree because it's right in the way. Sorry, Mr. Tree. But you're encroaching. Look at this tree moving. Ninja log, ninja log, does whatever a ninja log does. Okay, we gotta make a tune for that. Ninja log, ninja log, does whatever a ninja log does. I know it's like, it should be the Spider-Man tune, but... I don't know. Okay. They've, uh... What?! They made Pokemon Red and Blue in Minecraft? I don't even know. I don't, I don't understand what is life anymore. Minecraft is crazy. I've still never played it. That's just one of those things. I think the reason that I never played Minecraft is because I know. I know. It's like, oh, if I play that, I'm going to get sucked in. There goes a thousand hours. You know what I mean? Because I feel like you can't just play Minecraft for 20 hours and be satisfied. Maybe you can, I, but like I said, I've never played it. I just don't know. You played Valheim. Problem was after we beat the bosses, there wasn't much more to do. Oh, okay. I didn't realize there was like a boss type system to it. You mean like a redstone game in Minecraft? That's done. It's easy with map editors. Else it's Royal P and DA. It's a royal P and DA. Lots of things are a royal P and DA, you know. I <laughs> uh, see. I had no idea, Luzi. I did not know that you could even do that in Minecraft. So, like, I saw like, a, like a thumbnail of it, and I was just like, "What? How? Why? This is it." You're nearing 800 hours on Seven Days to Die. Okay. You're the streamer. You get to decide how it sounds. Okay, yeah. That's true. Um, 
I'm going to have to look up Seven Days to Die. Because that's one I haven't even heard of. Okay, we've got our next platform. So the next thing we need to do... I'll probably put... Hmm. See, the tide's going to go in and out. But what... Ooh. Okay. I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to build a wall right over here to block this off. And that way it'll keep the water in here. And then I'll pump water to... I'm going to have a farm underneath the house. Just right here. Since you don't need to support the house... <laughs> I'm just gonna build a farm underneath my house and it'll be funneled with that water. That way I can grow like mushroom corals and have just an unlimited supply of food because I could be wrong, but I don't think they're gonna let people just die to refill their water and food the whole time. There's gonna be more consequences probably. That was weird. I was like, it won't let me hit the tree. So having a good supply of food... No! That is not... I can't... Well, now I'm sad. Because I destroyed my floor. Okay, hang on. Let me build my floor back. Put some stuff away real quick. I thought I was hitting the tree. Okay, put that away. Go ahead and eat that berry. You don't even need that. Hey, hey, uh, what is your name now? I don't even know. Your name changes all the time, dude. What is it? What did you change it to now? Okay, it's still David. Um, sell the wood pillars. Don't even need them. Those are worth three, so those are worth less than the pine wood planks. Sell the sap. Sell this blueprint. We already have it. Done. Yes. A Spider-Man. A Spider-Man. Okay. I really like the detail. Wow, they, they added some detail to these walls. It looks great. I like that. I recently rewatched the the Tobey Maguire trilogy. Ah, I just love it. I even like the third one, even though there's some stupid parts. I still love it. A part of me wishes they made a third Andrew Garfield movie because I just think like it would have been cool to for each actor to have their trilogy completed. You know what I mean? Even though they were planning a Spider-Man 4 for Tobey Maguire and it got canceled at like the last minute. But I think if they each got them a trilogy, it would have been fine. The rumor is they're in the new Spider-Man. I don't know for sure. I, I'll find out when I watch it, but I'm sure they are. It was been rumored for so long and everything. Okay. It's in Steam. Okay, I'll look in Steam. Are there gates or only doors? Well, there's a fence gate you can do. Um, but as far as, like, uh, something to, like, match a wall, there's only, like, doors. But you can put, like, I'm going to build a fence around the balcony. And you can put a fence gate, like, right here. So that's the only gate that I know of. Uh, okay. I'm going to put these nails away because we don't need them anymore. It is nice to have them, though. Nails, nails, nails. And that can go in there. See, we have 30. I'm going to test these out on the big man. Because I would assume he's slightly armored. And if he's not, these will just do some, some better damage. I was really hoping they would, like, put Bruce Campbell be Mysterio. 
I was wondering more if there was a larger gate that you could sail your boat through and keep your boat back in that water area too. Oh. Well, I'll look, but I don't think that there is something like that. There might be. They may add it too, I, I don't know. But, I will check. I know we need, okay, we need to get some more logs out for the walls. Done. And we got plenty of seagrass, so we need um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically, three times four is 12. So we need 11 walls, because one of them is going to be a door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do I have any more hinges I can work with or iron? Okay, I got one hinge. Okay. Well, we'll have to get more iron eventually. But for now, we'll just build the wall, and then we'll focus on getting the roof. I definitely like the idea of having windows. It just seems nice. You know what we'll do? We'll have the entire... We'll just do this. I've got an idea. So we'll do this. I'll put a door here just because I like the, having a door like that. And then we'll build the roof and we'll have this kind of be an open air shack on the second tier. And we might build a couple more tiers, but I really liked what they were doing over at the village, keeping like one side of their place completely open and then having the roof and I don't know. So we're gonna experiment with that. We can always add walls. So, what do we need for roofing? Ah, tree branches, that's right. So, we'll put that up, put that up, put that up, put that up, put that up. Sounds like I'm saying potato, potato, potato. But I assure you I am not saying potato. I like potatoes. Oh my gosh, potato chips dipped in French onion dip? It's like, oh my gosh. I'm drooling. I'm drooling about it. Okay, let's just get a bunch of roofing. Just build as many roofing as we can. 12 roofing. Well, that's clearly probably not going to be enough, but we'll find out. Then again, you could always build and remove walls to keep it somewhere if it can completely drift away. You've got your own private island. Why not enjoy the views? That's right. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the boats drifting away. Um, Because they're right there, so I can always just look and see where they're at. But it is concerning that they are allowed to drift that much, especially when they're anchored, <laughs> because it's like it's like the rope is a rubber band rope. And it's like, oh, that, yep, it's just going. It's going. Okay, Mr. Tree, you got a problem. And this tree's got a huge problem. Because you can't kill it. Look. It's invisible. The tree. Well, we'll see what happens when I quit and reload the game next time. Okay. So we're going to come in here. Ooh. Okay, follow me here. I've got an idea. Not sure how well it'll work, but we're going to try it. Uh, variant. Let's see. Okay, that, that's what I want right there. Yep, yep. Yep. And put the... Just like that. Just like that. And... Oh. Like that. Like that. Uh... 
like that, that. Oh, oh, I fell, I fell off. I was too focused on my roofing. I like how the roofing looks. And I, okay, hang on. I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you what I'm thinking. Okay. You, okay, I gotta build a fence. <laughs> That's why you build a fence so you don't just run off the edge. Okay, so you go over here. It's dark, but, okay, I do need one right there. Oh, one left, that's perfect. Done. So we've got a complete roof. It, oh, okay. Fence is next. But the, the center is open because if you have like a cooking spit right here, you want the, the smoke to exit the top, right? At least that's like my real life rationale for why there would be a hole in the middle of your uh, hut. But it looks good. It looks good. And that's a that's a good start. Oh God, I didn't do that on purpose. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. <laughs> Potatoes. What's taters, precious? I love those movies. It's, I cry. I cry like a butt. Butts don't cry, but you know what I mean. Ah. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Lovely, what does he say? He's like, lovely something something chips with a nice piece of fried fish and then Gollum spits <laughs> he's like <"Pfft." laughs> I love those movies all right gather these up So we can have enough. There we go. So, okay. I know what we need. We need seagrass. That is the one thing that we're short on for the roofing. So, but I want to... I want to investigate to see what it costs to make the dirt beds. For farming purposes. For the farming Dirt field, there we go. Five clumps of dirt, wow, okay. Redstone and poop, okay, so we need to hunt down redstone because we don't have that much. We have 23, so yeah, not, not enough. So let's go hunt. Oh, okay. Scratch that. Where's my arrows? Where's those arrows? Did I not get them out? Where, 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 where are my arrows? Oh God, are they gone? Are they dead? Did I die them? Wait a minute. Oh, they're in my, okay. I didn't see them here, <laughs> I'm just freaking out. Okay, I wanna test these on the big man. I like it. They might if you eat too much spicy food. That's, that's true. You know, I've had a bad experience with uh, <laughs> spicy food. There was one time, oh my gosh, I didn't know what to do. It was so spicy down there. I was like, I was like, do I need to go sit on ice cubes? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, 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 there's, okay, 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 okay. Remember where you are. I'm going to see if I can break down this cannon. I'm going to see if I can break it down. 
Let me get a demolition hammer real quick. I just need a stick. Can I get one stick? Can I get a stick? Oh, I got a couple berries. Did I get a stick? No, I didn't get a stick. Eat the berries. There's a couple sticks. And a couple more berries. Eat the berries. Good. Now we can make a demolition hammer. And I'm going to see if I can break down that cannon. Because if I can, I'll set it up over by... Um, over by the big man so that he's in range in case these arrows aren't up to snuff for killing the big golem guy. Because I remember in the beta when you killed the big golem, you didn't get anything from him. So I wonder if that's changed. Could be, and it could not be. We'll find out. And put up some of this tree sap just in case we do get a bunch of stuff. Too much tree sap and sea gra and tree branch. Put those away too. Okay. And what do I need? I totally wait. Oh. Yes. Demolition hammer. Thank you. Let us go get the zip. Okay, you moved. I still can't hit it. Oh, you don't know? Okay. Well, we're going to find out. It's an experiment. I've tried it before and it was a no-go. Um, but we're going to see now. We're going to see. No worries. No worries, Luzi. No worries, Luzi. Okay. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, yeah. They added it. That's so cool. That's... That... Like, all I can say is, like, thank you. Like, that... That is so awesome. I don't think you can break these down because this is not an item that you can build. You can't build a bench. There's no item for bench. Cool. It's nice to know you can actually break those down now. The only way I would have tried it... The only reason I tried it is because you said... You said that, Luzi. You were right. Okay. Get all of that there. Mm -mm. Redstone. Let's gather these up. I'm not going to break all those down. But I'm going to see if these arrows do good damage to the big golem. Because if it does, we're going to kill it. One thing I want to add, though, is that these pirate ships are very cool. But you can, like, you can't really do anything with them. And I feel like you should. Like, I don't know what, but, like, if you could break them, break them down, that would be cool. Or, like, if there was, like, a door somewhere and you could go in and find decent treasure I don't know I like seeing them here I just wish there was a little bit more you could do with them but not a big deal if not not a big deal I'm glad they're there rather than not being there I'll say that but it would be fun if they were interactable and they could be in the future okay let's get the bow ready Who's waking up first? I know there's a couple of them here. There's one. Obviously, the guy's right there. One of them. Okay. Hold up. Just get... See if we're out of range. Hang on. No. That does way less than even the explosive arrows on that guy. So that is a no-go, no for launch. Oh, no. No-go. Ooh, seagrass. Seagrass galore. Here we go. Yeah, for me, so like I was saying with 
Icarus, how a, a few of the reviews were saying that there's too much to do that gets in the way of, like, just playing the game. And the one thing that gets in the way in this game is the seagrass gathering. It is, it's fairly easy to get, but sometimes you do have to wait for the tide since seagrass is one of, like, the most necessary building components in the game. You use it for your armor, you use it for your hat, you use it for the walls, you use it for the roof, you use it for a lot of stuff. And I've seen it in a trailer the developers released that you can farm seagrass, but I've tried to plant it and you can't equip it to plant it like you can like the seeds. You just It just won't let you do it. So I'm wondering if that's coming in an update. Because that would be so helpful and that would be the first thing I would plant in my farm is the seagrass just having an infinite supply of seagrass similarly to the, like the fire flowers like it's only infinite if you cut it down and let more grow you can't just like stand there and mine and mine and mine and mine and mine it but I think I'm assuming you will be able to in the future All right. Looks pretty good. How many do I have? 28, 28, 28. That is 25 and 25 is 50 plus 25 is 75 plus nine is 84. Boom, math. I'm a genius. I should have gone to MIT and become the next Albert Einstein. <laughs> I can do addition well. That's about it. I'll say that. I can do addition. <laughs> oh, are there more cannons on the island? And can you put those on your boat? Yes. So when you break that down, you get all of its components. So you can just run back to whatever bench you need to craft it and go ahead and recraft it. Um, until you put it down again, then you have to demolish it and rebuild it again. But, yes, you should be able to put it on your boat. But, what I wanted to do was, for right now, I want to place it probably over here. Just out of range of the big man, so I can just shoot him. So that's too close, because he, he's moving. So I'll put the cannon like right here. Kill him. Oh God! Shh. Who are you? Who do you think you are? You think you can just do this? I'm killing you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, you're dead. You happy? Are you happy? Oh, this is a, that's like a hidden iron rock. Okay. I know, I'm hungry, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm d wait, what is happening? Oh, I do have food. Eat all the food. Well, that's the end of those meals, but... That's fine. They were cheap. They were cheap on the village island. Inventory last night. Thanks, good looking out, Sliverant, for letting me know they, they were in there. Hopefully you get to craft something that big, that could be fun. Yeah, that would be... Life uh, finds a seagrass. I love that reference. Good job. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I'm excited for the new movie. Jurassic World Dominion. When the original three come back, 
Except for John Hammond. I think that actor is has passed away, unfortunately. But you get Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm, and um, Ellie. Ellie Sadler, I think that's her character's name. What a fantastic film. Oh my gosh. I must have watched that film a hundred times. I mean, because I used to watch it as a kid. And then I watched it as a teenager. And then I watched it as a, a preteen. And then I watched it as an adult several times. And then I saw it in 3D. When it got re-released in the theater that one time in 3D, I went and saw it. Because I was like, oh yeah, that sounds like fun. And it was. It's just crazy. It's crazy how well they did with that game. I mean, not game, that movie. Just, it holds up miraculously well for what when it came out. Obviously, it's not perfect, but compared to other movies released at the same time, it's like, oh, this is awful. But that, it's like, wow. All right, that's all, that's all I'll say about <laughs> that movie. I'm getting off track. Okay. Um, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put that in there. And we're gonna put that there. No, we're not gonna put that in there. We're gonna put that there. We're gonna put that there. That way we have that available whenever we need it. All right, and we're gonna put that there too. Yes, and we're gonna put those back. Yes. Hmm. And we're gonna put that there. Oh, we can't put that there because there's no more room in that crate there. I'm trying to think. So we're going to do a similar roof to that one. Hmm. Or. Okay. Here's my idea. For this platform, we can build flooring as the roof here. And then we'll build like a spiral staircase up to a tower like they did on Village Island. We can do that. He was trying to mash your beans. <laughs> well, I think that's going to do it for me tonight. I have to get up for work in like five hours. Well, I got to say, Soul Stealer, thank you so much for joining, man. Especially because this was just like an impromptu. I just showed up live and you were here and I definitely appreciate you, man. You're great. And tell your um, your wife I said hi because uh, she's awesome too. Uh, queen of Queen of Souls, I believe. Yes. That is a fun, fun username. But anyways, thanks a lot. And I'll see you next time. I will um, post a thumbnail tomorrow early on. That way it's, it's a little bit more clear that I'm going to be live streaming. Um, but yeah, thank you, Soul Stealer. Get some sleep. Hopefully you have a good day at work tomorrow. Well, I was seven when the movie first came out, and the raptors terrified. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. The raptor, that was terrifying. Yeah, good night, Soul. Thanks for saying that, Luzi. Why is it splashing like that? That was weird. Okay. So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I think we've got our idea. We're going to do flooring on the top here. And then on that flooring, we're going to do like they did on the Village Island and build a spiral staircase up to, like, the top of a tower. That is a good idea. Interesting. Well... Let me see. Let's do this. Can I... Okay, get this out of here. No! Don't destroy your torch! Get rid of these. We'll move the torches up onto the houses. So it looks a little bit more professional. Oh, that's why... Okay. I totally forgot that we broke down that cannon. And I put away that steel. Okay, well, we have enough materials to craft a cannon. At least. Now that we know that. 
I'm gonna deck our balconies out with cannons. Even though, like, there's really no point <laughs> in doing that as of yet. They may update the game and add some things that it's like, oh, I need to have base defenses now. I can't cut these down. I can't cut any of these trees down. The blue crystal trees are now impervious to my axe. They have grown superpowers. That is what they have done. Okay, can I move you? Can I move you? Hello? No, you cannot move. Can't move you either. Okay, I think you gotta bust them. You gotta bust them. Bust them down. So we'll do this. Hopefully, yes, okay, good. They did add all the stuff. Sometimes when you break something down, they don't give you exactly everything you put into it. At least they, that's how it behaved in the beta sometimes. All right, let's craft. Firefly, firefly, all right. I like those torches a lot. I like how they look. So I will put a torch right outside the door. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? I love the lighting. Oh, it's so good. Now we'll put another one right here. Look at that. Ah, 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 ah. What time is it? Okay, it's about one, so I'm going to end it because like Soul Stealer, I do have to work also pretty soon. Got to get up ooh, at seven, so that's about six hours away, plus I got to like get ready for bed, plus I'm kind of hungry. I don't know. Let's see how much sleep I'll get, but it's a good start. We, we pretty much completed one hut. We're just gonna build the railing here. And we're gonna build a railing up here. And I, bite, I might build another set of stairs up to another platform because I like the idea of just having a hut here, a hut up there, a hut up there, a hut up there, a hut up there. Like real Swiss Family Robinson style, if y'all have ever seen that movie. Not the original, the first remake, which came out, I think in the 60s, I can't remember. But it was like, it was the Swiss Family Robinson that was in color, I believe. But. Yes. So now we have a really good branching off point for tomorrow's gameplay. To pick up where we left off. But yeah, I think it looks good so far. And we'll start farming and being a real self-sustaining spot. It's going to be good. It's, it's already seven where you're at. Leonardo, I did. I killed that Titan, dude. I killed him. He's dead. He is dead. He's just laying in the cage, dead. I've been mining the crystals off his back. Check this out. I'll show you real quick before I end it. This isn't even half the amount of crystals, mind you, Leonardo. Listen, right here. We got 300 regular crystals. Those aren't even broken down into the shards yet. But then I got all those still. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. And that's not even half. And I've already crafted like 3,000 shards from all that. And that's not even half of what he's got on his back from killing him. And somebody commented, some, some Greek person... They were nice enough to say that their language, that their name was, was Greek. But they commented and said that you can fight the Titan as many times as you can use that, that shell. So we could just be unlimited money, basically, if we wanted to. And now what is the mission? Well, Leonardo, unfortunately, that is the end of the new content for the early access so far. Yeah, dude, lots of crystals, lots of money. And like I said, it's not even half. It's not even half. He's still got a bunch of crystals on his back. But that is the end of the new content in the early access so far. They constantly update it and add little new things here and there. 
I have no, no guess when or if they will update the game to add a new Titan. They may do that in the early access. They may not. Honestly, I don't know. I don't. I don't really know how these early access stuff like this goes with stuff like that. I know in like Subnautica they would add new big creatures and stuff, so they may do the same here. I just, I just don't know. But I hope they add new Titans because as soon as they do, I'm gonna go kill them and find them. But this time we were just building a little base. But yeah, man, that's about it. And I gotta get going too because I gotta get some sleep. Big day tomorrow too. And I will be live streaming again tomorrow. Again, I'll post a, a thumbnail tomorrow. Hopefully midday just so that people know. I might just do it now before I go. Just post a new thumbnail for tomorrow. And, and uh, yeah. That way everyone knows. Yeah, they just added something about four to five hours ago to allow you to break some items in the world. That's what uh, Lucifern was saying. That's what Lucifern was saying. The good thing is you will be prepared for the rest of the game. That's true. Yeah. That's so true. And I can't wait. I wish I could like have the developer's phone numbers and be like, all right, when's the next thing coming out? Let me know. <laughs> Good night. Ah, thanks, Sil Sliverant. I appreciate it. All right, y'all. Well, like I said, well, okay, let's save it. Save it real good. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to end it right here. We got a good distance in with our base building. We got our first hut done for the most part. We're going to move a bunch of stuff inside of there tomorrow and we're going to build a, a railing and a railing there finish up that hut and we might start on a new platform but i think the first thing we're going to do is finish up these two huts move that stuff in there then we're going to build a farm underneath and uh, then we're going to pump water to the farm so that's what we're going to work on but anyways y'all thank you so much y'all for watching live being in the chat i love you guys so much thank you to everyone watching live who isn't in the chat you guys are awesome as well thank you so much it means so much that you guys watch i love it and i love to see it and i'm just happy that we're all having fun together that's that's what matters we're all having a good time and again thank you to everyone who watches it after the fact i realize again that i do not i do not stream at an ideal time for anyone so Hopefully one day I can change that. It's just right now, most of my time is free at night. So I do what I can. But again, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and do the three things. Be safe, stay safe, or get safe. Because it's crazy times we live in right now. So everybody be safe. It would really make me happy knowing everybody's safe. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, thank you so much. My name is Mike. This is The Delicious Goodness, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye Okay. Let's chug it. Maybe not. I suck at it. I suck at chugging that stuff. I can't do it. Anyways, y'all, thank you so much. And have a good night. Eat some food. Good night, Luzi. Good night, everybody. Love you.